It's my fucking lip It's my fucking lip Yeah, 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 yeah to this video i went ahead and pre-shaped the nails i'm using dynamic 115 mermaid and 005 watermelon and the first nail that i'm going to go in with is the thumb i always try to get that one out the way because you use the most acrylic for that one but honestly you can do it whatever way you want to and we're pretty much going to do these colors back and forth back and forth like one finger the turquoise the other finger the watermelon and so forth and I know that y'all have heard this plenty of times before, but when you are using color acrylics, you kind of want to save them because some companies, they do like specialty colors and they're like limited time or they're seasonal. So you want to save the color and you can do that by going in with thin layers as you see me doing and then topping it off with clear acrylic. And honestly, because I was on a time schedule, I didn't go over mines with clear. I just ended up curing it and not doing anything to it and leaving it like that matte look. Now, if you're doing this at home or you're copying this, you might want to go over this with a matte top coat. Me specifically, I didn't. <laughs> and it worked out pretty fine for me because acrylics pretty much naturally dry like a matte type of way. So this is pretty much what I have for now. I'm going to start going in with that mermaid turquoise color. This color was so beautiful, y'all. This is my mom's like favorite color. Like anything turquoise, she's like in love with. Um... They have a couple different turquoise colors, so if you can't find the mermaid one, um, there's a couple other ones that are pretty similar. Maybe not exact, but this is pretty much just like a turquoise color in general, um, so it doesn't have to be exact. And y'all know me, I be trying to get these tutorials out the way. <laughs> um, I just be trying to show y'all how I do stuff. I'm like nowhere near like on a professional level when it comes to this stuff but sometimes I think like what if somebody like Chanel said and they want to do it I don't want to be one of those people who like y'all are searching on YouTube searching on Instagram how did she do that and I could have easily just shown y'all how I did it so for this flower I'm using that same watermelon green it's kind of like a minty vibe but like I don't know it's also very soft so it's not like that like really like loud mint color you know and i really do like this color i think i want to use it again in another set i just don't know what i want to do with it yet but honestly for this flower y'all i pretty much just drag my acrylic down with the tip of my brush it to shape it and then i kind of flattened it out towards the middle area After I'm done with my flower, I'm going to do a bit of line work. Um, I'm pretty much just going for like a leaf. I wanted some of the nails to be a little bit simple. So I'm going to add later on some gold pearls to the same design.
Now I'm going to take some burgundy acrylic from um, Dynamic Nails, and I'm just going to kind of blend that. I didn't want to have to do each um, petal like this, so that's why I just ended up going in the middle with this and spreading it out with a real thin amount of acrylic. I'm going to take some clear molding gel, and I'm going to begin to make my teacup. In order to accomplish this, we're going to round it out. We're going to put it on the dish, and we're going to take this and start to mold a plate you can just kind of like start with the hole in the middle and spread the hole out and it'll give you a plate look that's a little bit more 3D instead of making it just flat. After you're done doing that, you're going to place it in the lamp for 60 seconds and let it dry. I promise y'all it will be dry all the way within 60 seconds. Now that we have that done, we're going to start on our cup. Again, we're going to use a circle. We're going to place it down and we're going to begin to mold that with the tip of this brush. You're going to just start like in the very center and spread it out just a little bit because this time it's a cup and we want it to be a little bit smaller. Now I'm going to make the handle for the cup. I'm just going to make like this really long bead. And I'm just going to like mold it around the cup and then use my pen to get the shape and make sure you put a hole in it so it actually looks like a handle of a cup. You're going to cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds. Once it's done, you're going to go on with this 220 Beatles color. It's like a burgundy, so any burgundy that you can find is okay. After that, you're going to paint the bottom of your dishes first and then the top. And then you're going to cure both of them in the lamp separate. Please don't try to do this together because the polish will just wipe off. After you get your color on there, you're going to put a little bit more of that 3D mold on there. You're going to place the cup on top of the dish and put it in the lamp to cure it. Starting on this pinky, I went in with some reflect, reflective um, gold gel. And I'm going to pretty much make a picture frame, a rounded picture frame. Most reflective gels are super thick, so it kind of helps with molding the shape a little bit because yeah, it's not so easy for you to mess up. After you're done doing the shape, you're going to just start to put like these random lines and designs all over the rest of the nail just so we can fill it in a bit more. Of course, we're doing Bridgerton themed nails, so you want to go for like vintage lines. Don't just place anything anywhere. Kind of look up like an old rug or a teapot and you'll find a couple of like lines and shapes that you can use to fill in the blank spots. After you're done doing that, you're going to go over this with some transfer gel so that we can get a little mini rose in there so it can look like an actual picture is inside of the gold framing. The transfer gel that I use is also from Dynamic Nails. After you're done with that, make sure you um, put a top coat over it and then cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds. Also, after that, we're going to go around it with gold foil because I just felt like the gold wasn't enough. We needed something a little bit more 3D since we are doing like the teacups. We are now moving on to the middle finger and the thumb. For that, I'm going to use this gold liquid, and I'm going to kind of go in with the same vintage design that we used on the pinky. This can just kind of be random. It doesn't have to be exact to mine's if you're doing a copycat look or whatever like that. Um, this stuff pretty much cures after you use it. You don't have to top coat it. That's the good thing about this for when you're doing designs like of this nature. If not, you can honestly just use um, top coat and then go back over it with gold chrome.
I decided to go back over mines with the gold chrome because it just wasn't the gold that I needed it to be. So mm, even though it's gold, we I was like, mm, nah, we're not going to do that. We're going to go over with some gold chrome, make it really pop. After you use gold chrome, of course, you have to encapsulate that in some clear top coat. <clears throat> and you want to cure that in the lamp for about 60 seconds as well. And also, of course, after you go in with the gold chrome, that is the powder, and you do the top coat, you also want to wipe it off with like an alcohol pad or alcohol on top of some tissue. So that way the rest of your design doesn't have gold in it. This is the thumb, and I'm pretty much kind of doing the same design. Most of the time it's not going to be exact, but it'll be something close. Um, don't beat yourself up about it. People are usually fine with having different designs. Most people who get a lot of designs don't even like the same design on different fingers. So don't eat yourself up about it again. Take your time with this gold chrome because it will spread. And too much on <clears throat> the brush can kind of cause it to just the lines to be too thick. And it will kind of just come out looking a mess. Trust me. I also wanted this nail to kind of be like a basic design. So what I'm pretty much doing right here is drawing a giant gold leaf. I'm going to go over this with the powder chrome as well. And then for the rest of the design on here, I'm just going to put like hints of burgundy to kind of get those colors to blend in with that flower that we did in the teacup. Now we are back with the teacup and I'm just going to put some gold around it to make it pop a little bit more. I didn't just want it to just be burgundy. I'm going to do that over the top of the cup, the handle and around the plate. Here I'm just showing y'all what I did with that burgundy. Remember I told y'all hints of that burgundy color to bring everything together. And this is the part where I'm also going to just start adding those um pearls the gold pearls i told y'all about earlier in the video you know i'm just kind of trying to put hints of color here and there because i don't want it to be too much this set came out so amazing y'all y'all don't even understand i was in love with this i'm also going to put some caviar beads to top it off like i said hints of each color on each nail that way it comes together this is how you want your caviar beads to look I'm going to use some 3D molding gel to place the teacup on top of that middle finger. And that is the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.